So, in the sexual reproduction, two parents' participation is very essential and it is needed. There are steps of sexual reproduction. First is gametogenesis, second is gamete transfer, third is fertilization, fourth one is gestation, fifth one is parturition, sixth one is lactation. So, the reproductive system includes the organs called as gonads that produces the gametes. Gametes are nothing but the reproductive cells and hormones. And there are ducts or channels that transports these reproductive cells and there are accessory glands or organs that secrete fluid to support these gametes. Functions of reproductive system to ensure the survival of the species, to produce egg and sperm cells, to transport and sustain these cells, to nurture the developing offspring to produce sex hormones, puberty. Puberty, the age of sexual maturity, at this age the reproductive system becomes functional and starts producing gametes and sex hormones which generate secondary sexual characters leading to sexual dimorphism. Dimorphism means the male secondary sexual characters are different and the female secondary sexual characters are different. In the male you find deep low pitch voice, muscle development, facial hair mainly the beard, growth of axillary, axial and pubic hair. In female you notice high pitch voice, breast development, less hair on the face and body, growth of axial and pubic hair. We go through the parts of male reproductive system now. Male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes, a network of ducts called as epididymis, vas difference and ejaculatory ducts, the seminal vesicles, the prostate, bulbourethral glands, urethra and penis. The picture shows these components of male reproductive system. The function, the function of male reproductive system is to produce, maintain and transport the sperm. Sperms are nothing but the male reproductive cells and protect the fluid. The fluid is semen and to produce and secrete male sex hormones responsible for maintaining the male reproductive system. The system includes the testicles or gonad which produces sperms. The process of sperm production, sperm production is called as spermatogenesis, produces male sex hormones <coughs> that is testosterone. Sperm production begins at the puberty and continues throughout the life of a male. There is something called as andropause, find out what the andropause is about. Testis produces testosterone which is responsible for hair pattern voice change in male. Development of male accessory organs especially prostate and seminal vesicles. Testosterone also stimulates the protein building in the body responsible for greater muscle development and strength of the male species. The duct system, the epididymis. Epididymis is a space where the sperm mature in this epididymis. Vas difference transports the mature sperm to the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct pours sperms into the urethra. The urethra carries urine and semen outside the body. Seminal vesicles attached to the vas difference produces sugar rich fluid fructose that provides energy to sperm to move on. Prostate gland produces fluid for sperms. Bulbourethral glands produces mucus for lubrication. So here you can see the process of spermatogenesis <coughs> where 
primary spermatocyte with the 46 chromosomes will divide by meiotic divisions, it will become secondary spermatocyte, then further division, then it will become sperma, spermatids and this spermatid contains 23 chromosomes and then it will get matured into sperm cells. Female reproductive system consists of ovaries, fallopian tubes, vagina and uterus. Female reproductive system produces the female egg cells, transport the egg cells to the site of fertilization. After fertilization, it provides a space, place for the baby to develop. If fertilization does not take place, the system is designed to menstruate and it produces female sex hormones that maintains the reproductive cycle. Ovaries, oval shaped glands that are located on either side of uterus produces eggs and hormones. Fallopian tubes, narrow tubes that are attached to the upper part of the uterus and serves as tunnels for the egg cells to transport travel from the ovaries to the uterus. Fertilization of egg by the sperm normally occurs in the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg then moves to the uterus where it implants itself into the lining of uterine walls. The uterus, the hollow pear shaped organ that is a home for development of fetus is divided into two parts. One, the cervix, the lower part of the open part of the vagina. The lower part of the cervix opens into vagina. The main body of the uterus is called as corpus. The corpus can easily expand to hold the developing baby. Cervix is a canal. Through the cervix, it allows the sperm to enter and the menstrual flow to exit. Vagina, the canal that joins the cervix to the outside world, outside of the body. It is also known as birth canal. Female reproductive system, the different hormones secreted, follicular cells secrete estrogen, corpus lute luteum secretes progesterone. Here is another picture of showing oogenesis similar to the spermatogenesis where primary oocyte will get divided into second and it will again get divided and it will become 23 cell stage and ohm. So, there is an intricate detailed control system of control of hormones depending on the thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary and the target organ, the ovary mainly through FSH, LH and other supportive hormones. Few words about menstrual cycle. Human female reproductive system undergoes cyclical events called as menstrual cycle. Every month, one of the ovary releases one egg. Uterus develops a thick wall to support the development of the expected embryo. If the egg do not get fertilized, this extra grown wall breaks up and comes out through vagina in the form of menstrual flow. Menarche means first time the menstruation occurs somewhere between 10 to 12 years is called as menarche. Menopause, when the menstrual cycle stops around 45 to 50 years, then it is called as menopause. Usually cycles vary somewhere around 28 days, which has four phases, menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation phase, luteal phase. We do not go much details into this and you can study on your own if it is interesting for you and the much more details of correlation of reproductive system and some of the ancient hidden techniques like Vajroli, Amrolis are being taught in the our second uh, level of anatomy and physiology for yoga teachers and students. These are few details of reproductive system.
and you will see some of the charts which explains about different diseases. You can go through that and see you in the next topic. Thank you.